Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I have another Mark 5 Supra tips and tricks video for you. Oh, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get an actual like digital readout of your coolant and oil temperatures rather than just the bars and the dummy lights, which a lot of people complain about. So, um, let's get right into it. This is going to be super quick. I'm going to start by putting my foot on the brake pedal and starting up the vehicle what i'm going to do first is hit this trip odometer button i'm going to press down and hold it and i'm going to fast forward through this part because it's going to be boring because i'm going to press and hold it for quite a long time until i get to this menu that says identification and beneath it is system test what i'm going to do from that point then is press the odo and trip button all the way through we've got chassis dyno test and unlock that's what I want. I want to unlock. So once I get to unlock, I'm going to press and hold it yet again. And then it's going to ask me for my code. And you're like, oh no, I don't have a code. Ah, yes, you do. You're going to go ahead and look at your VIN and take the last six digits and add them together. And that is your code. I know. It was kind of weird. In my case, mine's 23, which is pretty close to my favorite number. So I'll take it. So I'm going to hit the audio button again. One, two, three, four, a whole bunch of times until I get to 23. 23 okay then once I've got 23 I'm once again gonna press and hold the audio trip button until it tells me that it has unlocked yeah yeah okay so now that it says unlock I'm gonna press that audio button again until I get down to temperature yeah and then press and hold the audio button once again long press and hold and ta-da there I have everything on the screen. I have my oil temp sensor. I have my oil temp raw data. I've got my coolant temperature and, um, oh, another oil temperature. It's actually in degrees Celsius. The only problem I'd say with this is that, well, there's two problems. There's two reasons why this is problematic. First of all, I have to learn how to read in Celsius. I'm used to Fahrenheit, but like, that's fine. I, I can learn new skills. Uh, and the other problem is that unfortunately this does not reset every time that you start the car, um, you've got to redo this again. So, uh, you, yeah, I wish that you did it once and that it just knew that you wanted these settings. Um, but instead you have to remind it every single time, but that's all right. You, you get used to it and you get it done pretty fast once you've done it a time or two. So, all right. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in more random Toyota tips, tricks, and tutorials from me, then check out other videos on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.